Hello, it's Sarah, and it's time for our 2018 art journal page. This is our first one, the January art journal page, and I've been playing around with some ideas. Um, I just really had to get in here and do something because I have not been inspired at all. Um, but this is why doing this art journal is is really important because it it gets me in the craft room gets me playing with my stuff and um, hopefully you'll join me um, we just bound our 2017 one and so um, it's January 2018 so I was just thinking of doing I had an idea for doing a resist with snowflakes and I just kind of did one and it was a total fail um, so I'm not sure I kind of want to do a background with um, pearlescent paint and then do white on top of it like I can't quite I have these um, FW pearlescent paints and this one's called waterfall green now you think of snow you don't think of green that's for sure but I want to kind of and so that's why this really light blue I think I'm going to go with this this is not pearlescent and I think I want to mix it with some glaze so that I can seal the background. So I'm going to go into my uh, mediums here. So I have some glazing medium. And that should kind of give us a little bit of a, a seal. I did my last one I did with gesso and it just made it way too bumpy. Because I think I'm going to do some stenciling. I have a couple stencils with snowflakes on them and some dots because I'm very much thinking I want to just do a snowy scene. We had something called a cyclone bomb here in New Jersey a um, couple in the very beginning of um, January. So I'm going to go like one to one with this color and I'm just going to kind of coat the surface with a very sheer light 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 blue and see what happens see if this gives the effect okay I'm liking it so I mean I'm no expert guys but I'm pretty sure gel medium has the properties I need to get this to be really it just extends your paint color or it thins it um, that's what most people would use it for but I kind of just wanted to get a wash on this background so that the snowflakes will show up a little bit, you know, instead of just putting them on white. Ooh, itchy nose. So I'm going to have to let this dry, but I think that accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Now you could just use a piece of blue paper maybe. Um, but I do think that probably sealed it. Let's see what this says. A transparent ac acrylic glazing medium, which allows... Josonia artist colors to be used transparently for glazing, for creating wood stains, and for special glaze painting techniques. The resulting transparent color allows the underlying colors or the wood grain to remain visible beneath the glaze. Okay, so it's, yeah, I don't know. I just really wanted a sheer background color, so, and that's what I got, so I'm pretty happy. Um, so, yeah, if you don't have glazing medium, you can just thin down your paint with water and or just use a super light light color um, but I mean I could have done some stamping behind here man or um, what else like uh, deco or what's not decoupage this stuff I haven't even ever used it yet you could put a napkin with snowflakes under it right I don't happen to have, you know what, if I had any snowflake paper, that would be perfect, right? So, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this. This is super cool, though. And then add snowflakes to it. No, I think I'm going to stick with, okay, so if you want to collage the background, do some stamping, and then go over it with a wash of blue that probably would have been your first move because um, we're just going to build now 
mixed media, which is what I am really into now, and I love it. Um, sorry, I'm trying to roll this back up. I come from uh, decorative painting, which is a lot more structured. Mixed media is you do what you want, and you don't do it if you, it doesn't make you happy. So, you guys, my you know my whole philosophy is um, use what you have. So I'm not going to be listing any products that I'm using today. Um, I'll just do my best description for the technique that I'm going to do, and um, enjoy the process. That is. The, when I first started doing mixed media, I was so confused and frustrated because I didn't understand that there's no you, A, B, C, D, and then you're done. Like there's no, it's whatever you want it to be. So this piece is kind of just going to be a snowy scene to welcome 2018 um, because January, it's already like the 22nd or something, let's say. 21st um, and it has been pretty darn cold in New Jersey today happens to be a gorgeous day my husband's taken down the Christmas decorations but um, yeah so I just and we had that cyclone bomb which you know all right so I'm gonna dry this and then I'm gonna do some stamping I do want to do some stamping I happen to have Oh, I was going to use my snowflake stamp. No, I don't think so. I'm just going to do some regular old mixed media stamping in the background. Let's see. I just pulled a few. None of these look like snow or anything. Like dots would be good. If you Like I'll use my hearts. I'm just going to do spot. I'll do some. I have to always use my script stamp. Um, my bigger dots. You could use... Um, Allie, not Allie, Audrey, sorry Audrey, not Allie, um, Audrey just sent me happy mail, and I had, I was thinking about using this, um, bubble wrap to get some background on there too, so, um, you know what, this is dry enough probably, it dried pretty fast, I was just going to go off camera. I try to keep these videos short, but I do like to do them in real time. So, oh, Kiwi hears me. So that you guys can see my mistakes and my thought process. And maybe if I had a light blue ink. Ooh. I don't have like a light, ooh, it's more of a tealy color, archival. Maybe I'll use that because I never use it, and that's what I'm talking about, guys. I want you to use what you have, and it gets us to use all these cool, these cool things. Oh, I have night sky, too, so maybe I'll use that. Let's go with this for the little... Put a few dots. And it's hit and miss. And there's no rhyme or reason. It is what it is. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Uh, I'm going to go with the darker blue for some hearts. And that almost looks black. And I am going to keep it on the vertical because it's the first page of our art journal. I figured I'd just go with this. Um... And this is actually looking kind of dark. I wish I had, let's see, for my, I do not have a lighter, because I tend to be a dark, bold, I have an even darker blue. Um, this is teal. What the heck? Because this is called Ocean. And that's by Archival. This is a stays on. But they're permanent inks. You want to use permanent ink. And this doesn't have to be going vertical or not vertical or horizontal. But don't, I wouldn't go diagonal. I don't know. There are some rules to mixed media. And it's basically to keep your eye going in interest around the page. But I like that. That's got a little something something. Um, I have a couple stencils. 
Let's see what else I could do. Um, I have a little drawer next to me, a couple of drawers that I just pull stuff from when I'm doing. Um, what do I think of when I think of, ooh, I haven't done caps lately. So here again, it's just whatever you feel like doing and, or you may just have a total style that you do. It's your, it's just the way you art journal. Do that, you know, but for me, I, I kind of am starting to have my own little, um, things that I really, really, like I, I generally always use this stamp. I, I do tend to use the same stamp, so that's why I'm looking through and trying to grab stuff that I don't, ooh, I even carved this one. So let's do a few circles. Maybe I should do, um, where's that teal? I like that teal color. Where did I put, did I put it away? Yeah. I like this. It's very similar to the um to her ocean color. And I want to use my stamp that I made. Ooh. Cool man. And look, I had other color on there, so it mixed with it and kind of made it a little black. Um, getting crazy now, kind of filling in all the space. Um, I want to go lighter. Oh, the other thing about color, and I can't find my color wheel. I was just looking for it. It's around here somewhere. Um, anytime you use things next to each other on the color wheel, you're, you're going to be okay. You won't make mud. But if you go across and you do start using contrasting colors, you may have, um, you may make mud. I can't find my color wheel. It's here, but I, I don't want to take the time. Um, so this is looking cool, but now I need to tone it down. All right, we didn't do the circles. I got to do circles. How about we do some with these inks? Why am I using green and blue? I don't know. I want to. I'm gonna have to start getting into white now. So I'm just gonna put some of this out. Kiwi hears me. And a little hair on there. And it looks like there was some blue or something on this cap and it actually totally mixed with it. So yeah, um, I don't clean off my tools ev evidently. All right, let's go. I like making circles. I was addicted to these. If you guys watch my videos, you know. You know. All right, so I have a few different sizes of these, so I don't want to get cray cray, but all right. And then I got the smaller one. And you can do it with the other side of the cap too. So like if you just go, oop. For some reason, it's not getting on the other half of the, because it's like a bubble, let's do. So I haven't even been watching any Creativation videos. Creativation, actually, I guess it's a, a convention where all the vendors go to it and show off their new stuff that's coming out for like 2018. Um, I think Lolly's there. One of my I subscribe to Lolly. She got to go to Creativation, and a lot of um, you guys. Shannon Green is there. That looks cool. I'm leaving it, even though it's puddly. Like there's a couple puddly ones. It'll dry. Um. Yeah. Uh, anywho, what was I saying? I'm not. I'm totally uninspired. Like I don't care. It's sad. Like. I've got stuff going on at home. My son is not well. He's sick. And, um, yeah, it's just very distracting. But I'm staying, um, I've been exercising like crazy. I definitely got to get that in. And so, but I'm just so not, 
in the craft room. So listen, I apologize. I know that um, I've made a lot of videos in the past. This looks cool though. I'm much, much happier with this than I was with my other one. So basically, I'm just going to, it's like, it's snowing. It's a storm. It's a storm, right? So anything can happen. I mean, I can, um, I have some silver. Is this silver? White pearl. I think I want to use some silver. I have gold. I'm going to use silver and make some more circles and dots. Maybe I'll spatter right? So I'm going to go, boop. I, I'm, oops, I make sound effects too a lot of times. It makes it fun. So yeah, that was a big part of um, getting involved with mixed media, was learning about, it's not what it isn't even about what this turns into now a lot of my initial art journaling was projects it was like specific things that like from start to finish because that's how decorative painting is but this doesn't have to be that i think i want to spatter i'm gonna take i like to use a fan brush and i'm gonna mix it Ooh, it's broken fan brush and it's a it's a I'm going to add water to my fan brush and then dip it in the silver paint. Oh, my husband works for the government as well, and there's a government shutdown right now. So that's happening. Um, he's fine because he's called, um, what is it called, like necessary staff? I forget. He works for the FAA, so... He kind of has to go to work. I don't know if he's going to get paid, but he has to go to work. And so they've been talking. He's on the phone. He's talking about that a lot because he's in management. I like that. I'm liking my cyclone bomb so far. Kate Crane does that. I love Kate Crane. She's a very sweet teacher. I just like listening to her. She's English. But like just because like it went, whew, it's a little more messy or um, like a stripe. Like it like went. Whew, whew. So I like that because that's a cyclone bomb. All right, let me, let's take it back a notch now. Let's see. All right, so where am I going? We need some snowflakes, right? We need white. We have to get back to whiteness. It is a snowstorm after all. It's not a blue, gray, silver snowstorm. All right. I have out here a couple of stencils. Um, I have my briar, and I could just go over this with my briar gently with some white and do I I think I want a flat white I don't want pearl so maybe the pearl I have to let this dry so I'm gonna walk away I'm gonna go get a drink and just have fun guys it's a cyclone bomb all right I'll be back okay I'm back it's dry I dried it with the heat gun a little bit and I blotted and it actually made a little texture in those puddled pieces we did but see that's a thing mixed media meaning using whatever type of media you want to use pens pencils inks paint glue collage you know so I you know I love collage but it is time consuming and so my initial what I wanted to do I did want to put collage on here which would mean just tearing up different bits and pieces and it also then it just adds texture to the piece and I knew I wanted to do stamping and so sometimes when you're stamping over all that texture you don't get as clean an image so I kind of decided to try and then that's why my fail happened because I use gesso and gesso has tooth to it as well so I have a little bit of texture on here and so I hope it's not an issue I would like to get some clean looking oh I have kiwi 
Kiwi's here. Hi, Kiwi. Yep, she ran. <laughs> I have my Eagles jersey on. Um, anywho, uh, what I want you guys to realize is, I because I did not get this for so long, mixed media is using what you love to create what you want to create. It doesn't have to be anything, and it can be everything. So that is my main objective here and to have fun to enjoy the process and I just looked across the table and I found this is some happy mail that I got from Audrey she's one of my subscribers from way back when and we've done swaps and stuff and she made me a couple of um, ATC cards which I love thank you Audrey and I needed this because guys honestly like I haven't been making videos. I haven't been watching videos. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, this one's called Inspired. And I just love that. And I, you know, I need to feel inspired. And this says, just do your thing. And it's called Flowers. And I love them both so much because that, they're, they're simple little pieces of art. But they really touched my heart, Audrey. So thank you so much for sending me that. Um, and then she made me this. This says, um, keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. She just made me a little spool, a thread spool with these beads. These are super cool too. Um, a little bit of bling around some ribbon and then a little bead dangle. Audrey always, we've always made bead dangles. Audrey likes to play with beads too. So thank you so much, Audrey. Um, and I'll apologize right now for probably not sending you something back, but I should, and I want to. Um, and so who knows, maybe there'll be something, a surprise in the mail for you. I love this little purple bell. Isn't that adorable? So this is going to just go hang right over there on my little um, hangy thing. But I'm going to use this bubble wrap that she wrapped it up in to do. I just thought of this as I looked across the table because I did kind of save this knowing that I wanted to use it. So I'm going to use my briar and I'm going to add, and this is super cute washi, I'm going to add, um, I think, see this is the thing and I'm not positive and I don't know if this will even be act as a resist if I used the um, opalescent paint, if it'll act as a resist, which I like. So if I go over this now with matte paint, so I don't know, should I continue with that? I think I wanna do matte. I think I'm gonna put it on here and then I'm just gonna, I think we're gonna do it with a matte. Um, oh, yeah, I am, I'm gonna use, because, and you know what I could do? I could still not go in with straight white and hold off on the straight white and go in with like buttermilk first or let's see this is called snow white where is my buttermilk I have buttermilk and oh I did I use the silver yeah I did use the silver it was really washed out um, buttermilk and light ivory that's the other color I always like to use. This is called light ivory. I think I'm going to use light ivory before I go completely white. Mm. And I'm going to use my brayer. You know what? I'm going to use a piece of paper so I don't have to like clean off my thing. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this out on this paper and then use a briar see it's not pure white which I think is going to be better and let's hope for the best here fingers crossed guys because um, I don't want to get rid of all this loveliness that I just did I just want to add some texture and look the bubbles are kind of making a, a snowflakey effect because it's like crackling a little so Audrey, you're the most bestest, nicest person. See, people are like, I'm nice, but I'm not thoughtful like that. Like, I'm just, 
I don't know. I don't think. Um, it's only I only got a few, so this isn't. I have to go thicker, <clears throat> maybe. I only see it right here. I got oh, a little bit. No, actually, I see it. I do see it. Only somewhat. But I can see it. I don't think you guys can see it. I thought it was going to be a lot more overpowering. I'm going to do it again. Because I, I was just going to brayer the background. But I think... I'm happier doing it this way because I do like the crackly effect on here. See how the, the bubbles, I don't know if you can see it from the angle that I'm... So it's definitely calming down the blue. I don't know if you guys can, you probably can't tell. That stinks. But I can see it. So it's definitely a layer. And I think the white would really pop better. Um, yeah, let's see. All right, well, I mean, I'm glad. See, I'll, I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in because I definitely, I got to clean my briar. But I definitely think it accomplished what I would hoped to accomplish. So let me zoom in. So see, you can tell it's like washed. See? See? They're talking about drugs. I don't know if you can hear them, but so, oh, my hearts go this way, so I would rather they weren't upside down, um, but basically we're getting there, so this is really, you just have to be kind of patient, which isn't my thing either, and I never knew where I was going, but that's part of the fun for me now to kind of see where we end up. Um, I do think I want to go in with some white now, though, and just use the brayer. Although, what else could I do? I have a, this, I have this snowflake stamp. I think I'm going to stamp with the straight white. Now, I don't have white ink. I don't know, I've never... Um, you know, regular white ink. I know there's like some fancy different kind of ink that you can use. Um, but I'm going to use white paint and brayer it onto here and then stamp over the background. Let me... Um I think... And then we're going to emboss. I'll emboss some snowflakes on here. Um, I have two different stencils. I mean, this is a really cheesy older stencil. And then I have this one, which is a little more thinner, like a little more, um, probably will work better. But I'm going to we'll emboss. So let's do, should I just... I think I'm going to go straight white. Kirby, you're going to have to get, get. Oh, Lord. Get. I gave him a job. All right, let's see how this goes. So I'm just brayering on this paint. And because this is got texture to it, stamping is not going to be... I love it though. You guys can't see it. But I think it's cool. I think it's going to be good. I'm going for it. I'm just going to do... I didn't even briar that one. And it's just adding more of a background. And more texture.
That did not come out at all like I'd hoped. I just can't get it to calm down <clears throat> the background. That's what I'm trying to do. So let's go with, because it is a cyclone bomb. So it has to get white. And we got about um, definitely 12 inches, but the, it, there were drifts. So we got like two foot of snow in some places and maybe more. Um, it was pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty lot of snow. And we live really far back off the street. So luckily my son has a friend who has a plow on the front of his truck. And um, for 30 bucks he came and plowed us out. But um, yeah, it was a lot. So, and like, it's only January 22nd, so we could be in for some more... So there really isn't, that didn't do much at all. I'm going to have to just brayer it. Hmm. Actually, you know what? If you look at all the um, opalescent paint or the pearlescent paint, you can see that it's been painted over. So it's definitely accumulating. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to brush on some white in my old with my old angle brush and do some um, floating along the edges and hope that it shows up so I corner load but I'm getting a lot of paint on there I'm getting extra and I'm gonna go along the edges and you could do this with a sponge or you know how we ink the edges of our pages with darker colors. I'm just trying it with white. I'm trying to get this to be lighter and um, because it's snowy after all. So I want to try and gotta get it snowy looking. Kiwi, what do you want? What are you talking about? Huh? What? Alright, so does that look... I think that did a little something, but not what I thought. So I'm going to use that paint and my brayer now and still uh, try to tone it down. Ah, this is what it needed. Some definite white. And then I'm gonna stencil. Yeah, that's whiter and I can spatter. Maybe, are you supposed to do spatter at the very end? In, in decorative painting, you would always do spatter at the very end. Would you stop? I don't want to use that. I want white. But yeah, this is kind of fun. I'm enjoying this. There's a lot of stress out there <laughs> in the other room. Um, a little bit. But we're going to get through it. And... That's why crafting is my serenity. You guys know that. So I have an idea. I think I'm gonna do embossing. You know what's funny? I can definitely see the stamping that I did. All right, I gotta let this dry. And I definitely wanna, I think I'm gonna do some stenciling with white too. Um, with white dots. Um, I think I'm going to use the pearlescent paint for that. And then go back. Like I'm going to switch between pearlescent and white. Flat white. And let me dry this. I have 
have this stencil. It has stars, hearts, and circles. And I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to do see the opalescent white is kind of gotten buried in the background. So I'm going to now go with that. Yeah, I think I am. I'm going to use the, I keep calling it opalescent, but it's pearlescent. It's whatever. And I'm going to sponge that. Um, I think I want to get a fresh sponge. You know what? I don't need a fresh sponge. I just need to cut the, um, this was silver. I, in my little, my fail one I did, I used a couple different, I used gel medium. That didn't work. All right, so this is just Martha Stewart pearlescent white. And I'm going to bring back some of that shine, I hope. So this is a lot to get. I mean, it's a lot of layers, but let's see. Ooh, that's cool. Can you, wait, 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 there we go. When I hit the light. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that all over the place. All over the whole piece. And then we have to do some snowflakes. And I think I should just make them be center stage. And then I'll write like welcome 2018 or something. That would be kind of cool. Um, because uh, and then I can just Maybe I'll float behind the big snowflakes that I do if I emboss some big ones. Um, yeah, but this is this is good because look, it's definitely got more shine to it. I'm happy about that. Let's do. No, I'll just keep going this way. And I'm not being neat. It's it's actually working pretty good though, because stenciling can be messy for me. I'm very um, sloppy. I think I'm gonna put a little bit right here. I missed a few. And right here. Maybe right here. I like that. That definitely helped. And because this is almost empty, I'm going to kind of put it back in here. And let me think. All right. So that's pretty decent background. I think that accomplishes, that looks like a, a cyclone bomb to me. And um, maybe I should blue it on the edges. Like put the blue on the edges and then it'll make the white, maybe not blue. Yeah, it has to be the blue. Because then it'll make the white seem whiter is that, is that right? I think this is looking snowy. That just totally made it look snowy. Maybe I should do that in white too. I think I'm gonna go one shade darker with the blue on the edge. You know what I need to use is Payne's Gray, but I don't want to. Is this darker than this? It's a tiny bit darker. I could be gentle with the Payne's Gray. I'm gonna try and be gentle. I love Payne's Gray. It's a really, really dark blue, but I'm gonna be gentle and I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna pull it in too far. So basically, just go around the edges of your piece with, and I need clean water, boy. 
um, with a little bit of a darker. So I'm trying to walk away from it and not have a ton. Are you going to go potty on me? Don't do it on my eagle shirt. Step up. Kiwi, come here. Oh, she's on my good sugar. So I'm just going to try and keep this really close to the edge. So that already helps it, right? What, babe? Sure. He's trying to avoid the inevitable. That helps me. That makes it feel more, um, oof. Uh, yes. All right, I don't know when it turned off. I have just edged the piece with some Payne's Gray, and I'm loving, that's making me feel better. It, it really brightened up the, the whiteness. I mean, you can still see all the blues, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's... I even see some pinks in there somehow, like there's shines, like I see the buttermilk, the blue, I see all the colors, and I'm loving it. All right, so I think as you're building your background, you really need to let the layers dry, and then you'll things will subtly start to pop, so I could even add more circles to the top layer now. I think I might want to do that. But let's do our snowflakes. Okay, so I have some embossing powder. Um, the Stardust is my new favorite and it's running out and it's by Stamp and Stuff. The, com the camera was off so I don't know if I said this already. Stamp and Stuff. Got it at a scrapbook store. Um, this one is just an opaque. It's w called Whispers. Seafoam white, so it's not even white white, but I'm going to use those two and Versamark ink um, You know what it might be cool to even emboss some circles all right first we're going to do snowflakes so I have two different snowflake stencils and This one is I think I'm going to do big and then a few little sparkly. I'm going to go mostly with the white. So embossing is you need a sticky ink. That's what you're going to use to, um, the powder will stick to it. So that's what this Versamark ink is. So I am going to get a new um, pad and I'm going to try, I'm going to stencil through with the embossing ink. So let me get my buddy, my, I'm going to put one up here and I'm going to use this and I'm just going to stencil right here with this clear ink. This is a clear ink but it's sticky and hopefully we'll get a good impression because I kind of do really want these to be um, detailed, not just lumps. <laughs> So, fingers crossed, you just sprinkle the powder and I got it. I got it. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a couple more. So, I'm going to go off camera and emboss a few of these and then I'll come back and do the sparkly ones. I figured I'd turn the camera on. Most of you know about embossing, but if you don't, you need a heat tool. So this is a heat tool. You can get it at the craft store. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to heat up that embossing powder. And all of a sudden you will see the image come to life. This 
gets very hot. So be careful. So I did three. And I mean, it's not as poppy as poppy, meaning popping, as I'd hoped, but I do see them. They're subtle. I'm going to put a at least one more of that very same one but I do think um, I might have to add a lot more so I think I might end up using the silver embossing powder as well and I'll just do maybe I'll do silver dots or because see these are a bit smaller um, want it to be silver. I wish I had clear. I don't think I do. Excuse me. I don't think I have to have clear. So I'm going to put one more of those big guys down here. Um, and then I'm going to start adding more and more and more. All right. So I'm going to fill it in. I'll be back. Okay. It's getting there. I'm going to, I did quite a few embossed in white snowflakes and now I'm going to use the sparkly and I'm going to go with, this one has two of the same, three of the same and two of the same shape. I'm going to go with the middle, the smaller version of this one anyway and just put that all over in all the blank spaces. And then, I mean, I'm just going to add my words, but I think I need to do more dots and just make it cyclone bomb layers. Like, it's a shame. And you know what? Then I'm going to look for um, some uh, cutout. I have cutout snowflakes that I used for, like, my art dolls and stuff. So I'm going to go find something dimensional, like some buttons or something to really put on at least just a little cluster of those to finish it off but I mean look it's looking snowy so I'm gonna go away and put on the the um the rest of the embossed ones and then I'm gonna come back and we'll finish it off so um, we're almost there kids and I like it I think it's snowy looking I'm pretty happy with the way the blue is is helping the white pop um, but it's got to get a little more snowy, a little more. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I think I can do a little, I'm going to do a little more stenciling just with paint. And I'm just painting this little wooden snowman. I looked through my stash and I found these, um, I used these as embellishments on my art dolls. I have one over there, anywho. I've already embossed it, so I think I'm going to use that. I have these other snowflakes, which I don't know. I like to use. These are wooden. And I pick this stuff up along the way, guys. Like, I've ha I have to go through my stash. and Like, I have my, my winter Christmas basket. I pull it out, and I see what's in there. So I could kind of layer a few of these. I think I'm going to save that, and I'll use buttons instead. So I might put a couple of these and some buttons. Now I didn't do any um, embellishing like this on our last year's um, journal at all, I don't think. I don't think I put any like dimensional embellishments, so no metal, wood, cardboard, anything like that. Um, these little guys, I'm doing this in, um, this is light ivory or buttermilk first and then I'll go over it with white, but I'm just kind of sponging it on. I'm going to do his hat with black, and I'll do his arms in brown. Um, and then I have these buttons. I had this little reindeer, which I really love. So maybe I'll do him. I'm just putting a base coat on. Um, I kind of like this, too. Um, but I would want to do him in more of a brown. So let me just, while I have it, I might as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a little more sp um, stenciling with these small. And then I, ha I found these stickers. So I don't know if they'll show up, but I, could, I think I'm going to add a couple of the blue just as little highlights around my words. And I'm just going to put, uh, I think I'm going to put like 
welcome 2018 I'm not positive um, and I don't know if I'll use him the light buttermilk is mixing together on the sponge with the brown but I think I I like this I don't want it to be um, really harsh and opaque so whatever it turns out like I might just do it like that and that might not even have been the better side yeah this is the better side I just looked at the wood and the, that other side had like um, cracks and stuff in it so this is the better side I actually really like that just a simple paint job so I'm not doing elaborate so it's just I really like him I think he might go on there now I know you guys might not have something like that but maybe you have a stamp set that has some like little um, woodland creatures on it stuff like that um, a snowman so I have these little snowmans mans snowmans and um, so look in your stash and go find something that's kind of going to be your focal image and then I'm going to glue it all down so I'll finish up this painting and I'm going to get I gathered what did I pick I think I'm going to use these silver stick stickers and I might just put welcome they're a little big I don't know I haven't decided on that yet I have lots of different stickers so I'll be back with the final reveal all right I kind of love it anywho it is what it is and all I did I took my uh, white gel pen and kind of made circles here and there around dots or anything wherever I wanted to do you could scribble you could write fun I made little wavy lines around the border and then I just glued on using my Fabri-Tac which I love um, basically three I did use the blue to pull the blue in so I think I am gonna put like one more blue sticker or I might just use these are basically clear though I don't think they're gonna show up these are just stickers that I've had in my stash I went through my stash and pretty much uh, maybe this is subliminally what I was thinking of when I picked the blue but I'll probably put let's put it right here and maybe one more because you need threes that's the theory anyway um, <clears throat> the brown the deer is my contrast color and I was looking for some stickers to I think I'm just gonna write January and I could just write that or but I think I'm going to use stickers, but the thing is, um, I think I'm going to put one down here. I'm um, going to write January coming down the side. So, yeah, good thing I left some room. But I have all different sizes. First I was going to use silver, but they're just huge, really big ones. I have a lot of black, which I didn't really want to use black. I have these that are white with the tan and I think it could go but I don't love that they're square which I don't hate that they're square and then I have white these I think I'm going to use these these are the, definitely the right size and they're white so I think this is what I'm going to end up using uh, J-A-N-U-A-R-Y so somewhere around there I think I'm gonna do that so let's see I don't think they're gonna show up I have my little tweezers I'm looking for um, tweet yeah they're not gonna show up I'm gonna have to I thought they had the outline around them but they don't so yeah the, these aren't gonna show up um, maybe I'll go silver because you know what they look bigger than they are they actually are cut out in such a way that they're a little bit smaller than um so let's see I have enough 
J A N U A R Y. So they're, this is much bigger. Let's see what the J looks like. And if it'll even stick. I may have to use glue, but I'm going to try and just. Yeah, I think these are what I'm going to use. So I'm going to stick it all the way at the top. So I have enough room. Because see, the way they do it, it looks bigger, but they're actually a tiny bit smaller because of the way they're cut out. And then you just kind of hold your tweezers and get your um, position. That's how I like doing stickers. So I hope you like this. It's a new year, 2018. I can't believe it. Another year has gone by. And um, I hope it's a good one for everyone. And listen, it's one day at a time. Just be positive. Audrey, thank you again for this that lovely happy mail. Um, but yeah, I'll be back definitely to do February and Valentine's Day is right around the corner but I'll put January and then I'll sign it let me sign it I might have a silver pen but anyway alright you guys see all those snowflakes thanks for watching Alright, as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking I want to shade around things, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I could do a little shading around, you know how I set things down, but I think I'm just going to leave it. I, I really like it though. I just wanted to tell you, I did put distress stickles on my deer, so you can see that kind of sparkling now, because I think he just looked a little dull. I added one more snowflake, so I had these three then one two three and then I just added one more here this looked kind of plain I put on all my letters and I went over it with Mod Podge and it kind of dulled it down which I don't mind um, and then I'm super tempted to just do the shading but I think I'm gonna leave it alright you guys sorry about that I just wanted to share that and now I'm gonna walk away I love it thanks, thanks so much for watching